Welcome inside the Edward Jones chatting cage where we are all in this together. It is not just me sitting up here asking questions. You, the fans, get a part in this too as veteran D-back shortstop Nick Ahmed has so graciously agreed to hop on here with us. Nick, let's bring you in. Huge fan of your work and my goodness, what a strong start of the year for you. If you could pinpoint one thing, what has been the key for you out of the gates here? Uh, for the team or for me personally? For you personally. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. It's been uh, it's been a good start. Um, you know, I just feel like I'm uh, trying to be consistent every day. You know, I haven't felt great or hit a, a really good hot streak yet, but uh, still able to produce and help us score runs. And uh, you know, just feel like I'm doing a good job on all sides of the ball: defense, offense, base running, and um, you know, hopefully going to get hot soon and help us even more. But uh, it's been good, you know, we've got guys on base in front of me, guys hitting behind me, and uh, it's just been a fun team uh, start so far, and it's helped me personally as well. Well, we are certainly pulling for you, as are so many fans across baseball. You leave us in awe, especially defensively, that's for sure. It was fun to watch you take home the Gold Glove Award. Where do you keep that bad boy? Uh, we just, I just got it, um, you know, at our first home game, home opener here at the beginning of the season, so... Uh, I think it's in my garage here at our home in Arizona, and I'll, I'll get it packed up and, and bring it to our home in Massachusetts in the off season, and I'll, I'll let my wife Amanda pick out a spot for it. Amazing. Well, congratulations. I yeah. know everyone at UConn <laughs> sings your praises about your entire game. It's no secret. You play with George Springer and Matt Barnes there at UConn. What was yeah. that team like? Bunch of high draft studs you all became. Yeah, yeah, we had a good team. Um, at times, it leaves us with a little bit of regret that we didn't ever, you know, make it to Omaha or win the national championship. But uh, we had a really great group of guys. We had five guys from our freshman uh, recruiting class in the big leagues last September. Uh, so it's pretty special just to get to play against those guys continually, uh, see their success. You know, last two World Series, obviously, we've had guys win it. So hopefully uh, I'll be the, uh, the one doing it this year. Oh, my gosh, how fun. What an amazing, amazing group of yeah. talent. And take us back to your Cop K days, Cop Cape Cod days, if you can. We've all seen the movie Summer yeah. Catch. What was your favorite thing about playing there? Uh, for me, it was just an awesome experience. I got to grow up, you know, going on vacation there as a kid. Uh, growing up in Massachusetts, my family would take me there on vacation every summer. And uh, we grew up going to the games in Orleans. We'd go to the beach in the morning and just go sit out and watch the games at night. So, I uh, kind of dreamed of that since I was a really little kid and getting to do it in college and uh, play in those fields and play against all the best guys in the country was a dream come true. And uh, it's just a, it's a great summer. You get to stay on the beach and, you know, work a little part time job and, and play baseball at night. And uh, now that you can't beat that. It was awesome. Wait, did you work a part time job? You personally? Uh, yeah, I kind of had a little grounds crew type job nice. where I made a little bit of money. Uh, it wasn't anything serious, but. Uh, you know, I took care of the field there in Bourne and, um, and did some of that, yeah. I don't know how you did it all. Uh, let's welcome in this video <laughs> caller now. We have Lou calling in. Lou, what's your question? Thank you so much. Good afternoon. And my question from Mr. Nick Ahmed is, before making it to the majors, was there a shortstop that you admired of watching while growing up? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, I grew up in Massachusetts, so I was a huge Red Sox fan growing up. Uh, just getting to watch Nomar Garcia Parra. Uh, he was kind of my favorite player growing up. Uh, and then getting to watch him play against the Yankees and Derek Jeter. So those two guys I get to watch a ton, you know, on TV all the time in the summers growing up as a kid and uh, just getting to emulate their game. You know, they're bigger shortstops who are athletic and, and did things on both sides of the ball. So uh, they're two good guys to look up to, and I'm glad I, I got to watch them play as a kid. Yeah, what an amazing team you got to learn from night in and night out, that's for sure. Twitter question for you, Nick. This one comes in from Marty here. He wants to know, what did it feel like to avoid being CeCe's 3,000th strikeout <laughs> victim, then ultimately being able to witness history last night? Yeah, it was pretty special. Uh, I wasn't really sure how big of a deal it was going to be, uh, but I think uh, he was only the third left-hander in the history of the game. So it's pretty special. Uh, I got down to two strikes pretty quickly, made two good pitches, 0-2. Uh, and then with two strikes, I probably expanded the zone a little bit, not wanting to be the guy, and uh, just kind of grounded uh, a, a ball to the first baseman and was able to, to beat him to the bag. But uh, I was on first base for the next hitter, and he did it then, and yep. it was pretty special to see. <laughs> His team's reaction, the way our fans responded, and they had a lot of 
Yankee fans in the stadium as well. So it was a special moment. I'm glad I was able to, to be a fan, I guess, for for a minute there and, and enjoy that. Yeah, you had a front row seat. Nice job beating out that infield yeah. single there. Uh, we really yeah. wanted to get this in here with you, Nick. We saw one of your catchers, part-time magician, Tyler Henneman, performing some <laughs> serious card tricks for you guys. What in the world was going on there? Yeah, I don't know. He was with us in spring training and uh, – you know, he, he started to break out some magic tricks. There's some downtime. Guys get to spring training really early and just sitting around having coffee and hanging out. And I guess he was like, hey, you want to see a magic trick? And uh, it's kind of how it started. I think he, I forget one of the shows, America's Got Talent or something like that, reached out and contacted him and, and wanted him to do an audition for the show. So I'm not sure if he actually did it or not, oh but he gosh. was uh, some good, good entertainment for the guys in spring. Yeah, such fun energy there. Uh, our producer, John, he has a question for you as well. He wants to know, flashing back to earlier in the season here, were you more surprised by Zach Granke hitting two homers in a game hmm. or John Ryan Murphy getting Cody Bellinger out? <laughs> Oh man, we've uh, we've had some position players throw a couple games already. Uh, Caleb Joseph threw the other night too, so uh, I guess that's a little bit more of a regular occurrence. So I'll go with Granky hitting the two homers. Uh, hit him in San Diego at night, which is a tough place to hit homers, and they were both both no doubters too. They weren't uh, they weren't cheapy, just scraping over the wall. So uh, he's a great hitter, great athlete, uh, but to hit two homers like that in a game was was pretty fun. I mean, he's got to leave you in awe, right? His bat skills are just out of this world. Yeah, he talks a lot of smack and loves <laughs> to hit, and um, he's, he? uh, he's always wor yeah, he's always working on his swing, and you know, likes to to tell the rookies he's got more homers and stolen bases than them, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, he's he's fun to have in the nine hole, and and just know that it's not an automatic out, and I think he's got five extra base hits or something crazy like that already this year. So uh, he, he's doing a great job for us. How often is this guy in the cage? Uh, he, he's in there quite a bit. You know, uh, pitchers take their BP every day, but he goes and works on his swing, and he hits a lot in the off season and spring training too. So uh, he's definitely getting more reps in practice than most guys. That's too much fun. Let's talk about Christian Walker here. Yeah. I mean, what an amazing journey. Speak to, speak to this journey here for us. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing a great job for us. Um, you know, he made the team out of spring. I don't know if it was the first time or not for him, but uh, he, he's done phenomenal for us. I've always known he can hit, uh, but his defense has been special for us too so far. Uh, he works really hard at his game, and I'm, I'm happy for him uh, getting the opportunity to play every day now. Uh, I filled in for, for Jake Lamb, not expecting, I think, to be uh, playing every single day to start the year, but Jake went down and Christian has stepped in and played awesome. Uh, he's done a great job on offense and defense. And uh, I saw him uh, on a rehab assignment a couple years ago in AAA uh, for the first time. I was like, man, this guy can really hit. Hope he gets an opportunity soon. So uh, he's got that opportunity. He's taken hold of it. Another one of your teammates here. I like to call it the Adam Jones revenge tour. I think we all saw this coming, right? <laughs> Him hitting out of his mind here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, just to see that he didn't have any contracts or offers, I guess, uh, until we scooped him up there in the middle of March uh, was was eye-opening, I guess. I mean, he's been such a good player for such a long time, and uh, we're happy we've got him here. Uh, but we're not surprised at the, the level of play he's brought to us. He's been a great player for a long time, and uh, I, I guess we're, we're happy that we have him. The, the rest of the league doesn't. But uh, we're not surprised at what he's doing. Uh, he's just doing a great job for us. He's an ultimate professional, works hard, takes care of his body. Uh, he's always doing a great job on and off the field for us. So uh, we're excited to see what the next five months are going to bring with him. It's so fun to hear you talk about your teammates here. We thank you so much for that. It is time for the lightning round now before we go. Rapid right. fire questions coming your way. This will be some fun. Uh, number one here in this lightning round, favorite Hall of Fame, baseball or a basketball Hall of Fame that's located just, what, five miles away from where you grew up in Springfield? Yeah, um, I'll go basketball Hall of Fame just because it's so close to me. I got to see the old one and then the new one built and, and got to play uh, a high school basketball all-star game in their new gymnasium oh, uh, there as well. So I'll go with that. How many times would you figure you've been there? Um, probably five, about five times, yeah. Nice, so much fun. All right, first home run ball. Yeah. How did you get it back? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think a fan, one of our fans caught it, was at home here. Uh, I think the PR staff went and, and 
bargained a signed bat for it. So I think that's how I got it. Nice. Okay. What was your first car? First car. Uh, my dad had bought a, a blue Toyota Corolla for my older brother, and that got passed down to me. <laughs> nice. It was, uh, yeah, a little uh, efficient car getting around town. Love the hand-me-downs. Yep. Uh, the food yep. you cannot live without. Uh, I'm on a big steak kick right now. I'm, uh, I'm eating a lot of steak, so I'll definitely say that. Favorite road ballpark to play in? Uh, I love playing in L.A. against the Dodgers. Uh, Dodger Stadium has got a lot of history there. Always has great energy, and it's fun to go, go beat the rivals. Are you a fan of the Dodger dog? I never had one. Ooh. I'm not a hot dog fan. Yeah, I try to eat healthy. And <laughs> My teammates uh, try to get me to eat them, but uh, I have Healthy haven't eater on our yet. hands. Nice. Uh, yeah. What opposing player makes you stop and watch the most? Um, I don't know. There's so many of them. Um, trying to think. There was one, uh, one specific moment. Ronald Acuna hit a ball against us uh, earlier this season. 3-1 uh, slider, hit an opposite field home run about 450 feet, and uh, I was kind of in awe just watching that, uh, just knowing that I probably can't do that. Um, it was it was fun to watch him do that. And unfortunately, it was against us, but uh, he's a pretty special talent. The fact that you remember it was a 3-1 slider and you didn't even throw that pitch yeah, is impressing it just, me. Yeah, I was that short and it just stuck out. I was like, how did he just do that? <laughs> it was a pretty quality pitch, too. And I was like, man, that was, that was impressive. Yeah, he's not human. Uh, favorite show yeah. to binge watch? Favorite show, favorite show. Uh, my wife and I were watching This Is Us this off season. Uh, we got two young kids at home, so we were kind of sneaking episode here and there uh, <laughs> when they're napping or sleeping. But we still haven't finished it, so don't uh, don't spoil no, no, the rest no. of it for us. Any tears? Yeah. I heard it's emotional. Uh, my <laughs> wife definitely had a couple. Not me though. <laughs> yeah. Favorite place to vacation with your family? Favorite case, uh, Lake Tahoe. Uh, just Ooh, so beautiful nice. up there. Um, haven't been in a few years, but uh, it's, a, it's a great spot. Yeah, so many outdoor activities there, that's for sure. Thank you so yeah. much, Nick, for joining us. And thank you to the fans watching for contributing their questions. This has been an Edwards Jones Chatting Cage.